I can't think there are many people that, that say they blow up buildings. <laughs> that work with wizards and save the world like I do for a living. But then again, that's, that's what we do. It's about creating a totally different world. Working with Double Negative, I've worked in a visual effects team that's created effects for some of the biggest films that have come out in the last few years. Um, Harry Potter, Hellboy 2, The Dark Knight. My job is an R&D programmer. That entails making tools for the artists and people we have here. So if someone comes and sees us and says, we need this way of putting together a system with 50 uh, people on screen at the same time, they know that they can come and see us and we can work out a solution. There'll be some way of putting that together where they can concentrate on their, their artist side of things and we can take away the technical. I'm in charge of things that move but under the forces of physics. So things like hair, water, smoke, fire, um, not characters or creatures. In my day-to-day -day job, I'm basically developing the, the look for a certain creatures and characters, um, uh, certain props. I tend to focus on more destruction of stuff, so like hard objects. We kind of figure out how to go around solving the problem that we have and, and what kind of objects we need to blow up and then we just destroy them. <laughs> At A level, I did maths. 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 Further maths. Further maths. Computer science. Chemistry. Physics. Physics. It's not like you learn it and then you do your A levels and you forget it. So I have a maths book, you know, at my, at my at my desk the entire time, and I refer to it constantly. I worked on the computer-generated fire that's in the movie Hellboy 2, and um, I honestly wasn't sure what's happening inside a flame, what the chemical reactions are that are making that happen. So I went and found my old folders from university and looked through the part about fire and went, oh, I see. If I want to know how to get a good looking distribution of trees over an area, then you know I'll have a look and find some sort of nice equation that, that I can tie into that. In the sort of years I've been here now, it's been, it's been brilliant fun. I get to travel all over the world. When you first go and see a film that you've worked on and you see it in the big screen, particularly if you're there with a very enthusiastic audience, it really makes you feel, yay, it's my work. I get to work in fantastic movies. I get to see my name on, on credits at the end of every movie that I work on. Evidently, this guy's quite the big shot. Oh, and of course, going on set and meeting the cast isn't bad either. <laughs>